Hello chums, Robert Ross here, comedy historian in Comedy Cottage. Hope you're well. What day is it today? It is Friday. That's right, yes. Um, hope you all watched um, the BBC One A Big Night In last night, which was an absolute treat. Uh, children in need joining forces with Comet Relief and in the safe, safe hands of Big Sir Len. Yes, Lenny Henry was uh, on prime form last night. Um, many, many treats along the way. I hope you donated. You can still donate, I think. Uh, check out on social media. Um, but Rob Ryden and Steve Coogan doing a sort of virtual Skype trip, which was a treat. Um, at the reunion, virtual reunion of Matt Lucas and David Williams doing some great Little Britain stuff. Uh, there were so many glorious things. The one that touched my heart, of course, was the Doctors. The Doctors playing tribute to the doctors and nurses and care workers around the country, around the world, to see Tom Baker and Peter Davison and Colin Baker and Sylvester McCoy and Paul McGann and David Tennant and Matt Smith and Peter Capaldi and Jodie Whittaker and Joe Martin paying their salute to the nurses and doctors was an absolute dream. So thank you BBC. Support the BBC. We love the BBC. So, we love the BBC, we also, also adore Talking Pictures TV, of course, and today's pick for tomorrow's Talking Pictures TV is a return to one of our films we celebrated during one of our comedy horror double bills. It's Frankie Howard versus Ray Milan in The House in Nightmare Park. Oh yes, I can watch it again, I watch it every day. Ten past two, tomorrow afternoon, if you didn't watch it with us a few weekends ago, if you did and you want to see it again, tune in, ten past two, Talking Pictures TV, the great Frankie Howard in The House in Nightmare Park. Okay, a few things, parish notices today, a couple of callbacks to yesterday. Uh, in my befuddled state, I said the last time I saw Love in the Car was in York. It wasn't in York, it was in Leicester. Sorry to Jeff Rowe and the Leicester Comedy Festival, but we've done so many gigs together, uh, myself and Tony Slattery, it was definitely in Leicester um, in February, which seems light years ago now, but anyway, but apologies. We have played York as well for Martin Witts. Hopefully we'll be back there at some point next year. Anyway, other oh yes, of course my sister also gave me a hard time because she guessed the identity of that cap. Because Fiona shouldn't really be playing because she was a close friend of Christopher Mitchell's as well. But anyway, many happy hours uh, with Fiona playing Beatles songs on the piano to Chris, who was a massive Beatles fan. Uh, and lots of alcohol went over the lungs in those days, but um, happy, happy days. Anyway, Fiona says uh, she got it right, so she should win the cap. No, <laughs> Fibs, that's not how it works. Anyway, moving on. Um, oh yes, yes, finally, finally, my ring arrived. I have Peter Wingard's ring. Um, I shall uh, whip it out another time, I think. There's so much to show, but we'll have a little of that later. It's a little treat, a little as seen on screen Peter Wingard ring. It's part of the collection. It is safely gathered in. Um, what else? Oh, tonight, if you are lucky enough to see after our book club on Tuesday night, uh, Lenny Bage do his uh, Tuesday night uh, cabaret. Lenny's back tonight, nine o'clock. Oh yes, because last time uh, he did a wonderful Matt Monroe song, um, which is uh, hopefully going to be part of the repertoire from now on. But Lenny Bage, you've got the details below me here on Facebook, 9 p.m. tonight. Tune into that, it's a treat. What else was I going to say? Oh yes, I'm wearing the slapstick t-shirt again. This was this year's slapstick t-shirt and their laughter in lockdown, um, celebration and plundering their vaults has another treat today, and what a treat. It's the latest show of the Slapstick Guys. It's, I'm sorry, I'll read that again, again, my dear pal Barnaby Eaton Jones and his gang, uh, with three particularly special cameos from three of the originals, Bill Oddie, Graham Garden, and of course, Tim Brooke Taylor. So, emotional times, that's gonna go out today for the first time, Check that out, it's the last time that um, the three goodies were on stage together. So it's quite a piece of history. And uh, we'll shed a tear and raise a laugh for happy times and happy memories. And finally, on, a, on an equally sad note, um, today is the funeral of Eddie Large, uh, being buried in Bristol today, uh, this afternoon, uh, two o'clock, I think. So this film may not go out in time, but do me a favor, pour yourself a large glass of something you want to drink, something alcoholic, and refreshing salute to Eddie Large and remember him with laughter, affection and kindness. Okay, until tomorrow, I'll see you then. Bye for now.